Hey viewers, uh, this is um, another um, statue of uh, the classic Ultron. Um, this is a Sideshow uh, comic uh, regular version. Um, I'm just going to run you through the uh, quickly about the box. Uh, yeah, as you can see on the box, um, got Ultron there, sitting on his throne. It's not really a great print, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, I think they could have done, done a bit better with this. Um, but then again, I mean, uh, all these sort of smoke detail on the sort of top. I did quite like the top of it. Um, this uh, this box has probably seen better days. I think uh, the person who shipped it across has uh, uh, bashed the shit out of the corners. Um, oh, shit, not that, but... That's pretty much how they get damaged, is by yeah, people like that messing with it. Uh, not packing them properly. Even though this did come in the, uh, the shipper, the Sarcho shipper. Mm. Um, did come from Denmark though. Well, doesn't matter really. I mean, the uh, problem with the box as well, as I can see uh, on the side, it's got Vision, which uh, that's the um, exclusive version. And uh, this is, as I say, the regular with, with Ant Man. So, uh, yeah, they, I, don't, I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably do that with most of the other stuff where they, they just have one box for, uh, for both. I'm not, I'm not sure really. Well, when it arrived, I thought I'd got the extra, I got the exclusive for cheaper, so <laughs> I was really pleased. So uh, yeah, this is 2013. Uh, this this came out, so it's pretty new. Uh, we've got here. Uh, this is uh, 350 out of a thousand. Um, and as I say, the um, Vision version version, I think, is uh, only 300 or 250 or something. Probably something it? like that. Yeah, but it's um, a lot less. I'll have to look it up, but it's something like it's, it is a lot less, but. I will, we'll get on to it, but I actually really prefer the, the Ant-Man head. And uh, yeah, if we uh, pause this and we'll, we'll swap it over, unless uh, you want to talk about the box a little bit. No, I'm good. Just go straight to the statue. Yeah. I'm going to do this in stages, actually, because I uh, just want to show you this base. Um, this, this is the base on the, uh, the, of the statue. Pretty nice base. Uh, the underneath, pretty sweet, actually. I, I do really like it. Again, you've got the number down here, which is, uh, which is on there. Uh, year, whatever else. Carpets match the curtains. Yeah, this. Um, I, saw, I, I looked and saw the um, uh, Galactus uh, Marquette, and that base was quite similar it's to actually, that. Yeah, and it's not uh, quite as impressive not as, as, that, that, as, as like, the Galactus, uh, but yeah, definitely. It's quite, it's quite class. Um, is that the back or? Yeah, that's the back, yeah. So basically, the thing I don't like about this is uh, it, it's part of the design, but when this arrived, uh, we were quite worried that this was scuffed and that Definitely. the person sent it out had uh, manhandled this a little bit too too harshly. Uh, it's got like a brushed uh, aluminium look, uh, sort of scuffs all there. But then when you kind of look at the piece, it is kind of all over. It's that one so, of your fingers there right underneath yeah. that looks like it, you know, it would be like a scratch or a scuff. But so I would say, unless this guy's uh, really been really heavy handed with this, no, it's uh, the paint unless job, I'm he was sure. part of the paint job. All right. So actually, um, the, we can say that Sideshow Collectibles has always outdone itself on the paint, and they've probably just made it a little too convincing. Yeah. When I got this out of the box, I nearly, I nearly killed somebody because, to be honest with you, I thought it was damaged. Okay, and on we go. All right, this is quite risky again because it's me putting this on here. If you look so now, you can see this little nod module there, and literally, it just the bottom of it just clips in, so just onto that spot. That's it. And then there it goes in, just sits in there nice and square. And that's pretty much in, yeah. The, it's, the funny thing about this is it has a quite a lot of movement. That's it, there it is. There it is. Happy days. Okay. Again, uh, George gets very nervous when I handle anything. Terrified. Um, as I say, I've broken my cable. Uh, Explain yourself. Yeah, I, t I took the um, cable Kovacar out of the box. Yes, you did. Uh, it comes with um, Baby Messiah, which... Baby Hope. Baby Hope, sorry. Hey, and, uh, <laughs> and basically the uh, the helmet comes off of that. It's like a front harness. And then there's a little sort of bracket which then clicks on the on the back. And uh, Explain what you did. I kind of took it out of the box and uh, kind of turned the harness over. And that's not attached by magnets to the rest of the <laughs> harness. And it shattered on the floor. 
Um, uh, t- tell them about how the guy had that for how long did he have it by the way the guy that you purchased it second he, all, most of these statues that we're reviewing well, have come from the secondary market so they've only been pre-owned to some of them before I think that one was the first um, fine art statue which is probably 2005 six. I might be totally wrong here quite early on we won't quote you on that but the guy had it before uh, you and looked after yeah, it like a child right the guy had it literally I bought it on eBay I think I gave him 50 quid for it he was pretty annoyed, uh, not very really happy about sending it that cheap. I turn up, pick it up, take it home, and smash it with the second. <laughs> but there's a video of me putting on a stupid voice and doing whatever. Back to the back to the uh, back, back to, to this point. one. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, this one is is a very very impressive piece. Um, I was looking at this um, a while ago, and uh, you know, Georgie boys, uh, you know a bit more willing to spend the money on it so uh, yeah got it <laughs> so he's got that as I say it's the Ant-Man version he's got his Ant-Man head there show my head comes out so just lightly pop um, so the head what would you the head okay. literally it's, it's not magnetised the whole hand comes off just like so and then there it's not magnetised at all and I myself I'm guilty of dropping it, just as Alex did thankfully I did not break anything because I expected it to be magnetised too Okay, um, I think that this this piece is going to really be popular in the coming years with um, the Ant Man movie coming out. Um, I think that's Edgar Wright directing that, and then you've got the Avengers movie, The Age of Ultron. So this piece is going to be uh, probably worth a fair amount of money in the, in the coming years. Uh, we'll give him a little three sixty. Um, I mean, this piece I, I I really like. I mean, there's a few throne pieces which are really impressive there's uh, you know the, the, cream, the cream of the crop which is the Doctor Doom throne legendary uh, scale yeah which uh, yeah that's uh, probably a grand and a half you're looking at easy there. 1500 pounds uh, yeah. I think I've seen a, as a uh, ghost rider throne that's quite a nice piece actually um, yeah. and then there's this one uh, one of the things which a lot of people don't like is this is only a one fifth scale yeah. Uh, so it gets a lot of jip because of that. Uh, it just means it's not collectible. So what happens is, is that people, let's say for example, you've got six or seven items by sideshow, and a lot of the time it is one quarter scale. So what happened is with this, they brought, brought this out one fifth, and a lot of people avoided buying it because it could not go with the regular. A display. If you have a display, just like mine is in the background, you can see. I'm quite. I'm not fussy about how big these things are. I just. I just think they're beautiful, and I buy them. But other people, a little bit more pedantic than me, want them to be exactly sort of to scale. And this is one fifth, which is very rare. So therefore, you can't put this with, like, say, saber tooth or something. It just does not fit. It does not match. I've got. I actually, thankfully, have it below saber tooth, and it doesn't bother me. But the saber tooth premium format is 19 inches from top to bottom and this is 13 and a half so it's a quite a big difference okay and then uh, we've also um, there is the other slideshow one which I think is the uh, premium format and, yeah. uh, and that's the one with the cloak the great Ultron yeah, yeah I, I quite like it uh, I've, had a, I've had a little look at that one uh, I was looking at this one and that one at the time I think this one's a better statue but I do quite like the other one um, Georgie Boy is not a fan of them. Uh, he doesn't like that one at all. I just um, think this is, a f- I think, for the size, where you can put this, there's just so many more options for me. I, I mean, I, I have this one room. I have a few limited pieces. I do not have 20 inches of every statue to place everywhere. I don't do the bisters because I find them incredibly unattractive. It's just not my style. I like a little bit more the sort of wooden glass. I mean, even the Hulk at the minute is just sitting there on nothing, which we'll show you on another day. Do we know there's a sculpted bike? I'm not yeah. sure actually if it says on the box there. I'm not 100%. I, think, uh, I mean, there'd be some more die hard people that would know more than I would. I mean, the boxes are quite limited to what information they have on them. Yeah, no, this doesn't actually say uh, who sculpts this, but uh, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to look that one up online. Um, so the only, the only other thing, I mean, uh, is with the other version, you do get the uh, vision. vision head. Um, again, I, I, I've seen that online, I've seen reviews on that one, and uh, I really, I prefer the Ant-Man head, and, uh, you know, I, I think that um, Vision head, head, I don't think is very good, I don't think the colours go 
with, with the statue. Also, you're talking about a lot of money difference. I mean, I purchased this for £170 on the secondary market. You know, when I pay 15 quid delivery, price. it's still under £200. Now, if you want to buy the exclusive, you will be paying anywhere from three to £500, depending on who you're buying it from. Now, that is a big difference. Yeah, the numbers are less, but realistically, what we're talking about, a different head, is that it? Is that what you're paying for? Let's just wrap this up. I love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. Colours are great. I mean, it really does look metallic, to be honest. It's probably the most, it's the best looking metallic uh, paint job I've ever seen. What we'll do is uh, we'll show the shelf this goes on. Um, it's quite disappointing, really, because this is like stuck in the bottom. Uh, if you go down, we'll see the comics and uh, the comic and card that comes with it. Uh, Ultron, Age of Ultron, number one. And as you can see, that is the that is the actual statue that Alex is referring to. That, although it says Ultron there, that is great Ultron. You can see it has the cape and a little bit of a different chest and paint job on there. So he looks fantastic. But really, for me, there's I had to get the card where he's on a throne. Keep it balanced. I'll really turn it that way because now that people have to turn their head sideways, so uh, <laughs> that won't really work. But we'll uh, we'll just pause this for a second because uh, it takes a little inches here. Uh, cut myself off there. But uh, okay, how do you? Um, here we go. We're going in. Yeah, and uh, yeah. mind your mind your fucking right big there. head. Just, I can't see a thing because you've got his big head in the way. Uh, how did you get? It? Is it that? That's it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right. So. This is where he lives, and uh, Home sweet home. yeah, we're going to. Uh, well, this is George's display. George is probably going to get some uh, some little lights to stick in here, just so it's a bit better lit up. I will As I say, it's a shame that uh, he's kind of right on the bottom at the moment, but uh, that's just the setup we, that he has. And uh, you know, if he gets more uh, more statues, then he's going to change that. But uh, yeah, we won't tell his wife that. But anyway, keep that quiet. We're signing out now, so uh, thanks guys. If you want to comment, post below and uh, let us know what you think.